Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the video. And today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your own Nohezi server. Now, before we get into it, I just want to say that there is already a community around this and they've created a fabulous discord where you can join all their servers, get all the mods that they use on their servers effortlessly by just clicking the simple button. A link to their discord will be in the description. If you just want to join it, make it a simple process for you to just click, join with friends and cruise and cut through some cars. By making this video, I don't really want to take away business from them because I know they do paid hosting, but I just wanted more control over the cars I use as some of the cars handled like trash on my rig. Now, just a reminder that to set up your own server, you're going to need Content Manager for Seto Corsa. So if you don't have this already, Content Manager is a super useful tool, which you can literally pay $1 for to the developer. And it enables a load of tools and a load more freedom compared to Seto Corsa's normal launcher. So if you don't have a Seto Corsa Content Manager, make sure you go get that first and then proceed. And once you have Content Manager fully open and activated, you're probably not going to have the server tab in the top corner. So what you want to do to enable that is head to settings, appearance, and then just tick the box where it says server. Now that you have the server tab, we're going to head into server. And here you can already see a template that I've already got for the server that I already run on my Twitch channel which if you want to join me and my community for some cruising, please check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. Feel free to get involved with us and cut some lanes up. Now, what we're going to do today is we're going to make a whole new template. So we're going to hit the plus in the bottom corner and then we're going to name our server Sloshies No Hezzy. With our name decided, we're going to want to go onto the track. So we're going to click on Shotoku Revival Project. And for this one, we're going to go for the overload layout. If you don't have these maps already, there is a link to SRP's official Discord in the description. Make sure you head over there, get the tracks downloaded and install them into Content Manager. Now with the tracks installed, double click on our overload layout, hit OK. And then here is where we're going to add our cars. Now we're going to add AI cars, which are going to be the traffic cars. And we're also going to add the player cars that we're going to allow our friends, you know, me, my friends all to use and to cut up with. Now to do that, you're going to click on this gray blank tile. And then from here, it puts you into the entry list. Now the entry list, pretty self-explanatory here. Obviously it's all the cars that are gonna be entered into the server. So these are player cars as well as AI cars. Now to add cars, it's super simple. You're gonna hit the plus in the top right corner, filter whatever cars you want. So for this one, we're gonna add a few traffic cars. So we're gonna add a Volvo. And then just to make the server a bit more dense, we're gonna add more than one traffic car. Cause obviously if you just have, you know, two traffic cars, there's only going to be two possible cars that the server can spawn for you. So we're going to add five of Volvo V70s. We're going to add five Nissan Leafs. And then we're going to add five Audi A4s. Now I'm clicking the traffic JP ones because I want it to be a bit realistic. So all these cars have Japanese number plates. Now, as you can see here, it says 15 entries. So that's our 15 AR cars. And then for the car that I get to drive, we're going to add my favorite, which is the R34 Z Tune. And now we have 16 total entries, but you can see here it says three clients. So what we need to do is head back to main and then we're going to change our capacity to 16 because we set 15 AR cars and then one player car. If, for example, you're going to have 40 to 50 AR cars and then another 20 player cars, you're going to want to change this depending on how many cars you want to add. Now, forewarning to run a server, you're going to have your router enabled for port forwarding and you need to have these ports enabled. I will not be showing you guys how to do this because there are plenty, millions of tutorials on YouTube, which you can go and just basically follow. They're super simple. So I won't be showing you that today. So make sure they're enabled. Otherwise, you can't proceed. So with your ports all opened, you're going to make sure that your packets are turned up all the way to the max. Now, from here, you can set a password. So for example, if you just want your small community or your friends to join, you can just set a private server password. And then here you're going to set an admin password. We're going to want to do this because I'm going to show you guys later how to change the weather once you're in the server. So for our admin password, we're going to make it super simple. I'm just going to make it password one, two, three. Make server public again, depending on you, if you want your friends to join through the server browser or you can send them a link privately and disable integrity verification. Don't turn this on because obviously people can start joining with modded cars and it will really mess up your server. Now with those all added, we're going to just hit save. We're going to head over to our rules. So this is where you can change your assists like ABS and traction control by leaving it on factory. It allows the user to turn it on and off once they're inside the game. So I like to leave it as that stability control, automatic clutch and tire blankets. I like to leave these off as well as virtual mirror. If the user wants it on or off, they can decide once they get in the game. Realism here, you decide all your damage. So if you want tire rate, wear, all of that kind of stuff. I want to turn these all down to zero because I don't really want to do some sort of realism thing where damage gets impacted on my car. I just want to cut up no lanes with, you know, nothing happening to my car. So if that all done, we're going to hit save. 
move over to conditions. So here's where we're just going to set our time. But like I told you, once we get into the server, we can set to any time we want. So just for now, we'll set it to something like four o'clock. Time multiplier, we could just leave at one times. And then we want to hit save. Head over to your sessions. So you want to leave pickup mode on. Locked entry list in pickup mode, unticked. Loop mode, yes. So once the first practice session finishes, it will just restart itself. And the only session that you want to do here is practice. You don't want qualification and race because obviously you're not going to be racing. You're just going to be cruising with friends. So change that to an hour and a half. Can join enabled. Advanced and details, you can just leave for now. We're not going to get into that. Hit save. And that's all our that configuration done through Content Manager. Now for these next steps, you're going to need to get two files from my Discord, which are linked below. Head to the Assetto room where you can download these two files. One of them is going to be the Assetto server application. And then the other one is just going to be an AI folder with just the AI splines inside. This is basically for the AIs to show them and tell them where to drive. Now we're going to head into our Assetto server folder. So this is where we're going to run our server from. We're not going to do it from Content Manager itself. Next, we're going to head back to Content Manager and then we're just going to click on Pack in the bottom. We're going to point to our server folder, which we have on our desktop. And then we're just going to call it no hezi files now these are all just the files the configurations that we're going to need for our server we're going to pack them into one folder and we're putting it in our server folder once you've done that hit save and you'll see by default it brings up the window itself now what you're going to do is super simple open up the no hezi files you're going to have three folders here cfg content and system right click this copy them and then paste them into the server folder itself now with that done, we're just gonna run one test run to see if our server actually works. By doing that, you just hit double click Assetto server. Just gonna click run anyway. It'll probably force close, do it again, and it will say lobby registration successful. Now to do this, super simple to test. You can literally just head over to drive online. I've got the IP already favorited. If you don't know what it is, you can literally come back to your configuration and your server invite link is here. Copy and paste that in your browser and it will take you to this. And you'll see it requires a password to join, which obviously will just be one, two, three. But you can see here that we can click the AI cars as well as the R34 cars. Now we're gonna to need to do some AI tuning. So what you wanna do is shut down your server. So close the command prompt for a Seto server. Head back to server, go into your CFG, which stands for config and go into your entry list. Now these are all the cars that we entered into our server. What we're gonna be doing here is we're defining what's an AI car and what's a player car by one simple sentence. Now on the AI cars, all you want to do is hit enter and make a new line underneath. AI in capitals equals and fixed. Now this means that AI can only pick this car. They can't pick the player cars that we're going to define. So you want to do this for all your AI cars. The ones that basically start with traffic, unless you want, you know, skylines or anything like that cruising. You want to put AI equals fixed. And now for our last player car, which we've got here, you can see from the model, it's the Nissan Skyline R34. We're gonna write AI equals none. So that means the AI cannot pick this car and you won't see any driven by the AI. Once you've done that, hit save, close that down. And now in the config files, we actually need to enable AI. So what you wanna do is head to CFG, go into extra CFG. Now it might look like a big bundle and jumble of code, but it's actually all defined by the sentences above and below. So, you know, maximum allowed AFK time, yada, yada, yada. The one that you want to scroll to is enable AI traffic. What you want to do is double click on false, change this to true, and then hit save. Now, we cannot run our server right now because we haven't told the AI how they drive, where they spawn, all of that kind of stuff. So if you try run it, it will just instantly close. What you need to do is use the AI splines that you downloaded from my Discord and drag them into the server folder. How you do this by opening it is going to content, tracks, Shotoku Revival Project Beta. In here, you make a new folder called AI. And then we get our AI splines that we find from our folder. And then we just drag it into the AI folder. Now, if we go back to server and we run our server, it will see here loading AI splines. So that means the AI is now defined. So if we hit refresh here, you can see that the traffic is not pickable. We cannot drive traffic cars but we can drive the Skyline GTR, which is good stuff. That means the server is working as intended. So let's join it. Let's do a little test run and make sure that we can connect into it and just drive around. All right, so you can see here, good news that it works. So obviously once you load in, your playlist is all here. So you can see all the traffic cars and then we have us at the bottom.
So let's just go quickly see if we can catch up with some AI cars and see if they're actually spawning in correctly. Please excuse my driving. I'm normally used to driving in the rig with the steering wheel and this feels super weird on controller. So you can see good news that the server is working. The AI is spawning, but there's just one thing wrong. They're a bit too spread out. It doesn't really feel, you know, packed and dense so you can kind of cut up through some heavy traffic. So we're gonna do some configuring on the AI files again. So you wanna pull over, obviously in a safe space, come out of a set of Corsa, head back into your, or oh, actually make sure you close down your server first, head back into your server folder, CFG and extra CFG. So if you can see underneath enable AI, where we changed it to true, if you scroll down, you'll see AI params, which stands for AI parameters. Now you wanna copy the numbers that I have on screen here. I did some testing and these seem to be the best numbers in order for it to be dense, but not too dense that you're literally getting stuck in London traffic. Now with all of those AI parameters entered, you wanna hit save, and then we're gonna just restart our server and hopefully we should have a nice packed condensed server to cut up in. So you wanna head back to your server folder, double click a set of server, Good news, it hasn't crashed. It says lobby registration successful, which is what we want to hear. And then we load back in. All right, once loaded in, let's see if we can catch up to AI. And hopefully now, it should be a lot more closer knit together. And it should be a lot more dense. You could probably see from the distance that it is. Now do bearing in mind, it's not going to seem overly populated due to only adding 15 AI cars. Normally when I run my server, I normally do about 40 to 50 AI cars. That way the server has a lot of cars to pick from. But right now, because there's only 15 for it to pick from, obviously it doesn't have a large and dense pool to pick. But you can see here, like in the middle lane, very tight knit together. So the more you add, the better it will be. Obviously the more friends you have as well, you can start cutting up with. It'll be a bit more of an enjoyable experience. But we kind of have the groundwork and the framework to now build up on. Now, if you want to be part of the Cool Kids Club and cut up in the nighttime, what you want to do is head to the chat box, type in admin, and then type your admin passwords. So we set it to password123, and it now says you are admin of this server, which is awesome. And then you just type set time 0000. zero, zero, zero. And now you see it's set straight to nighttime. Now in this video, I won't be going over extra options like how to change your car color, how to teleport around the map. If you do wanna see those things, make sure you drop a like on the video. If we hit a certain number, like 100 likes or something like that, I'll make a second video which goes along to this and I'll show you some extra features which you can add to your server. Now again, in our demo server, we only added 15 AI cars. To make your server a very enjoyable experience, I'd recommend anywhere between 40 to 70 AI cars. And also remember, you're gonna need a beefy system to run this because after all, it's all running on your machine and your internet. So don't do it if you're still using dial up or anything like that. I imagine the comment section to be flooded with all these kind of errors and stuff like that. I will do my best and see if I can help you with your errors. But if you get any basic errors, try and read through logs. It will probably explain to you in there what's going wrong. If you're getting mismatch or info errors, it's more than likely your car models that they're out of date compared to what your server is running. Make sure your router is port forwarded because a lot of people don't know how to do that and get a lot of errors trying to set up their own server. So make sure that's done first before you go about anything like this. Once again, I wanna remind you that if you guys wanna do this and you wanna join in with me and my community, a link to my Twitch stream is below. Feel free to check it out. If this video did help you out, I'd appreciate if you drop a like on the video. Hit the subscribe button for more tutorials, tech videos, and all that kind of good stuff. Links to all of my other social medias are all down below in the description. So feel free to check those out and drop me a follow. Hopefully I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.